Hello and welcome back to the channel J.I. Colors. My name is Jody, and we are here again for another installment of our Christmas countdown in the Matchstick Mouse, a Christmas coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. We are on to day 21 and we are going to be doing this party page. Uh, in order to get us going, I have actually done a little bit of work ahead of time and trying to plan out my page. Earlier this month in A uh, Million Christmas Cats, I did a page with a uh, buddy color and uh, it had all of these uh, ribbons and then I added additional ribbons and put some confetti on the page. And uh, I used pencil crayons on this page uh, and I wasn't really thrilled with how it all blended out. So I thought I would wanted to try this again, only this time I used metallic gelatos. And so from the Faber-Castell metallic set, I used four colors of gelatos. So I've got green, blue, purple, and a pinky color. And I dry brushed them on. There's a little bit of sheen to the page, but you're not gonna see it on screen. I then have been drawing on some ribbons and I'm gonna complete it with you here and then I'm going to do some confetti. So that's what the background's gonna be, just kind of a, a fun party looking page and then we'll get into the actual picture itself. I hope everybody is doing good. We have only a few days left and we only have a few questions left from our table topics uh, and it looks like I'm gonna have to buy another version of them. Let me uh, bring you down a little bit with the camera. So using a pencil and then a micron plastic nib, I've uh, done some streamers here and I just thought I would go ahead and use my Sparkle Pops gel pen. I thought I would gel use gel pens that match the background, only a little bit brighter. So this is the uh, green. Hope everybody is doing well. We are getting very close to the end of our series. Today's day 21, so counting today, we have four days left. And then Christmas will be here. I hope you all get time during the Christmas break to uh, relax and do something creative. Okay, that's how it's gonna look. I'm also going to bring in some watercolors. So I'll actually go activate those because I wanna make these, uh, I thought about doing these in sparkly washi tape, but I think watercolors is just easier. I'm going to do the crowns in some bright uh, watercolors here. So let me grab those. Earlier this year, I picked up a Clearo Rainbow uh, water colors. So we've got uh, gold, deep purple, rose, midnight blue, red violet, and moss green. So what I thought I would do is probably the, maybe the purple, the gold, and maybe the green or that pastel pink. So add a little bit of water to all three of those pans and let that sit to the side. And uh, then we can continue on. Go ahead and we'll answer a couple of table topic questions in this video. If I can get this working. I have another blue one, we'll try that one. If that doesn't work, then we'll switch to the Pentel dual hybrid ones. Oh, it seems to be working now. Okay. All right, our first table topic question. Would you rather your home had a pool or a tennis court or a rose garden? Okay, well, I can't swim and I can't play tennis, so I would go for the rose garden so that I, at least I could go outside and enjoy it. And I think that I could uh, probably take some inspiration for all the flower pictures that I have to color. So I could use the rose garden as inspiration as well. Definitely a pool here in uh, Alberta would not get used very much unless it was indoor because it's just, it's too cold here most of the year. 
I mean, seven months of winter is an awful long time. I finished off my gold sparkle pot, but I do have a um, yellow dollar store marker and or gel pen, and that seems to work pretty good too. It's a little bit scratchy though, so I'm going to uh, speed the camera up and turn the sound off so you can listen to some music. The paint has been activated enough time, so let's go ahead and, and let's do the purple hat on our owl friend. So, and I'm gonna leave the back part uh, not painted because I think that I'm gonna actually come in with um, the gold so that it kind of looks like it's gold on one side of the hat and purple on the other. We'll let that dry. We may need to do a second layer just to get the shine that I'm wanting. So we'll let that dry first and see how that goes. Okay, I'm adding the gold paint to the uh, underside, the inside of the hat. And I think that's looking good. And I also uh, did, we're going to do this guy's hat blue. Uh, we've been sticking with blue for a little while, so we'll just stick with blue. So I have a blue paint. I might as well get that going and we can use the paint for him too. And we're going to do this little hat over here is going to be gold on Wilbur. We always had crackers for special uh, Christmas and New Year's uh, for dinner when we grew up. And that we, they were always quite fun. Everybody had a joke and a little paper hat and a uh, small little puzzle or trinket toy. I'm going to do his hat in gold in the back as well. And this guy doesn't have a hat. Okay, we'll get the blue hat done. wait for that to dry and I'm going to add a second coat actually I'm going to wait for this to dry some more just do the gold little area on this and then we'll move on to something else and I'll come back later to do a second coat let's grab our cool gray three and the rest of the colors So we are using the Cool Gray 3 for our owl friend here. Let's give him a brown beak. That's the owl. We'll use some gel pens for the crackers to make them sparkly. I will do, uh, the background is normally a um, C5, but I think I'm gonna go with C3 just to keep it a bit of a lighter picture since it is a party. And then we will do our mouse friend. Okay, I'm actually going to pull out the C5 because I'm running out of the C3 and also uh, our owl is also C3, so that's 
not going to be enough differentiation between them. So I'm going to uh, pull out the other gray. I'm going to use a neutral gray this time. So well, I'm going to see how that looks on a piece of paper. Yeah, so we will go with the neutral gray. And we'll just go right over top of the cool gray and hopefully it looks okay. I forgot that my uh, gray is running out. <laughs> Haven't made it to the art store, but I may have to take a little trip there. Better do it soon before before I need that. Okay, that's how it's gonna look. Pleased with that. The cool gray five for these spots on the wall. Now the gold is looking great. Uh, the purple is okay, but I think that I will put another coat of purple on top just so that you've got some definite shine there. So actually, while I'm doing this, I can answer a table topic question. And the question is, what's a great memory of your best childhood friend? So when you say childhood friend, you think about when you're tiny. But actually, I met my best friend, Kathy, in grade 10. And we have been fast friends ever since. We have gone on trips together, and uh, we've been through good times and bad times. It's, uh, it's been a long, long friendship. And, but yeah, it started in grade 10 in chemistry class. So. Once this is dry, I'm gonna take uh, a micron pen and sharpen up the edges a little bit. I can do that already for the gold one. Just so there's no disputing on what that is. Okay. So as soon as this one's dry, I'll do the same. Okay, let's get cracking on the picture and the mouse. And we'll do Wilbur, who again has no mouth. So, well, actually, he kind of has a mouth right now. He's he's uh, smiling really big. So we will leave him like that. I see one hand. His tail is showing today. I think that's all. So here's a question for you in the comments is, how old were you when you met your best friend? Is your best friend from when you were very small or when you were high school or university? This is getting a little dry as well. Just gotta hang in for a few more days. A few more days, you can make it. The beetle is the yellow glaze pen. Really no idea what kind of bug that is. I think we'll do a golden yellow for this candle here. Use a Copic yellow. I'm 
Well, that orange peel sure was not the color I expected. Let's use this pale pink for a plate. Okay, the mistletoe color. Okay, we're going to bring in a Pit Artist pen in the Chromium Green 174. And it's just because it's handy and it's a nice kind of a pine green. And these look like they could be little sprigs of pine tree. That's what we're going to do them as anyways. Let's grab another tabletop question. Besides your family, who has known you the longest? Uh, well, besides family, probably uh, known me the closest and longest would be my best friend Kathy that I mentioned earlier. So, um, yeah. This looks like sprigs of holly back here. This is quite the centerpiece. Let's use linen for the tabletop. That way there'll be a little bit of glitter to the table. And I'll turn the camera off while I finish this and I'll be right back. I'm gonna pull out my dual hybrid metallic gel pens. I have eight in total and I just grabbed five of them and we will do the Christmas crackers. I'm also gonna do the crumbs on the plates, just in brown, because I don't know what they were eating, but there they go. And this cracker is still totally intact. What kind of activities are you up to this week, the last week before Christmas? Are you still shopping? Are you out visiting, you're going to Christmas concerts for your kids at school or your grandkids at school. What kind of things are you busy doing? It's a quiet, quiet week here this week, which is great because I've still got a few days left to, of this series. I have been able to do a little bit of other coloring, uh, but that's taken, it's, uh, it's been busy. The beetle has his own and uh, looks quite large compared to him. Not sure how, who's going to pull it with him. one cracker left and uh, then some glitz. Then I'm gonna have to come and do the confetti uh, on the face of the, on the background. Try this purple one and see what color it turns out to be. Let's draw the hat back. Okay, that looks much better. We will take a silver gel pen and uh, put the highlights back on him. And he needs a mouth. Just a few little highlights. Let's do the confetti. So I'm going to use the same, I'm going to start up in the corner and work my way down so I'm not 
smearing gel pen because uh, that happens. So, and I'm going to do just like little kind of rectangles. Sometimes the gel pen is hard to get going on the uh, slick surface. It will smear easily, so I do have to be careful. I don't need them all the same size or direction. I'll continue on with this and bring you back when we're all done. Okay, I put clear stickles on the hat for Sam. I'm going to do some glossy accents for the eyes on both the spider and the owl because he has one huge eye. And then we will be done. So this was a quick page. Okay, here we are back for our final look at the page. I do uh, think that the confetti pieces look good and the streamers add to the uh, whole party vibe of it. This is a pretty simple page. I do like that we added a little bit of uh, glittery watercolor paint to the hats. And we are done day 21. Sorry for not being really chatty in today's video. Just uh, getting tired and uh, a little worn out. Tomorrow is day 22, and this is the picture we'll be coloring. All right, take care. Have a really nice afternoon, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.